Dead Heroes is a collective of brothers who have spent a lot of time around each other, man, and, um, you know, just a really friends, you know what I'm saying? So, it's myself, Jason. Tori Starks. The Boy Word. Nico Wells. Um, and we all go to the same church, all from St. Louis, you know what I mean? And uh, we do life together, man, so it only made sense that we, you know, did music as well, so. It was a natural thing, man. We yeah. all we all creative, man. We all be in the lab together just bouncing off ideas and hey man, it's just birthed this this natural this natural thing, man. We call it dead heroes. Well it comes from the idea of, you know, in order for the hero within us to live, we must die. You know what I mean? So for Christ to be made alive in us, we must continue to die. So we are dead heroes. You know what I'm saying? So our fight is to lose ourselves that he might be made known Indeed. in us and Indeed. through us. Yeah. There's not a lot of competition in the studio to see who gets the best money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit of that. It's more, I don't like to call it competition. I like to call it constructive critique. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you heard a verse and you're like, oh, man, hold like, up. Hey. It just actually just pushes, pushes us to, you know, yeah. to uh, just really do our best, write, you know, just come up with some really dope lines and all that stuff and just, just be our best, man. Mm -hmm. It brings it out. Everybody just brings it out yeah. of each other, so. Yeah, these cats, they'll let you know if your, if your verse is whack, you know, they definitely gonna say it, but go back and write that line. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. some rewriting is definitely oh, happening, definitely, man. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely happening. Yeah, yeah. But it's a pleasure, man. Like, it's been a joy creating together. So typically, um, we'll just cut a beat on. Shout out to D on the track. He's the producer. Uh, yeah. Um, we yeah, call man. him the hit man. man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Bang, bang, bang. Um, and literally, like, he might make a beat from scratch. We all in the studio. He make a beat. We listen. One of us will have a melody. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, Tori is always like, we need a melody. We need a melody. We need a melody. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, somebody will come up with a melody, then we start plugging words, and then poof. You know, we normally leave with a hook done. And the, the litmus test is if you wake up <laughs> and play it in the corner next day, hours and next 24 morning. hours, if it don't have that same feel it gave you last <laughs> night, then it's a wrap. It's, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? Gotta, so. <laughs> gotta have that same feel. It's so funny because when we send it out, that next morning, we all, everybody's in the chat like, anybody listen to it? Ask the one to get an opinion first or nothing. What you think? Yeah. No, what you think? Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> so. We believe that every every believer is a dead hero, you know what I mean? Or should be fighting to be a dead hero. Every believer, you know what I mean? So the fight is to say, like, it's not us, it's somebody greater at work in us, you know what I mean? Absolutely, man. So we've already finished the project, you know what I mean? Um, so if you've heard my new project, Form, then you probably heard one of our records. And Woe is the last record on the Form project. Um, just to kind of get people give people a taste of their heroes, and um, that that record is crazy record. We yeah. had a lot of fun yeah. writing that record, um, but that record kind of is kind of like the first single from Dead Heroes. You know what I mean? So EP will be coming out. It's self titled Dead Heroes as well. So you could definitely be on the lookout for that. Everybody is doing their thing on that mug. So it's yeah. it's really exciting time. It's it will it will be a lamp mode presents project. So yes. You can either speak for yourself or someone else, but what do you like uniquely bring to the group? So I guess I would start I'm kinda like the vet. So I've been like doing music for a while and you know what I mean? And these are dudes I love well beyond music. So if there was never a dead heroes, we'd still be playing Monopoly and Settlers of Catan and having <laughs> arguments over oh, NBA. Yeah. 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 But um <laughs> But so me, I just kind of bring to the table like experience, you know what I mean? And um, I think transparency as well, you know what I mean? And, and probably that competitive nature too, you know what I mean? So experience, competitive nature, transparency, and honesty, man. So they, uh, they call me the, uh, the word smith. <laughs> just, uh, just, I guess I'm, I'm real conceptual. This dude like got bars. Yeah. Like he's always <laughs> trying to, oh, okay. he's yeah. trying to bore you to yeah. death. Yeah, just sits there for 45 minutes. I'm like, you said, yo, we're going to bore me. Hey man, I got to make sure you get it. And when they hit it, it's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> no, That's man, cool. some men just bringing that creativity to it. Um, like we all bring it, but I'm like, I love to be conceptual, like tell a story or something like that, really have a deep impact to it. Uh, 
Damn man, I, I do a little singing, you know, mm -hmm. so you're gonna hear me, you know, doing my thing on the project. So yeah, like you hear me on foreign, on necessary, yeah. It's, yeah, man. Nico is real <laughs> creative. Like he's mm -hmm. the worship leader at our church. Like his brain just works in like melody, life, like just bringing, bringing <laughs> out, out things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And does a great job at that too. Right so. yeah. The executive? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Story stuff, but uh, I guess for me, really, um, see, in my other life, uh, I'm a regional business manager for American Express, so I am in conference rooms all day, I'm handling business, these accounts, and all these things. So, I have taken those experiences, and I'm a pastor of a church as well, so like, I'm always like kind of like the operational guy, and so they, they call me the executive because I'm like, okay, we need to get this done, we need to get this done, we need to get that done. <laughs> think about this, you're gonna have this, we need to think about that. So, they always like. Almost like being daddy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, they call me the youngin. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, yes. just bringing a certain, <laughs> just, bringing a, just bringing a certain, I guess, energy to every record. Uh, I say like more so like sonically. Um, I'm real flow driven. So that'd be pretty much what I always bring to the table. Uh, real distinctive voice. So, He's yeah. the ear. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like we run it past so. him like. How does it sound? It sound current? You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, that don't sound current enough. For me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. yeah, so always pushing the envelope for how we bring something to the table. So it's good to have a young ear that's always kind of thinking through the things that we may not necessarily be thinking through. You know what I mean? So I'm pushing content. I'm like, let's make sure we saying something. He like, well, let's make sure we saying something, but let's make sure it's being sound. said well. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and that's 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 important. You know, so yeah. we all uniquely kind of bring something to the table. We have the same passions. We like, yo, like we love Jesus. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we also are dudes from the urban context. You know what I mean? So we care about how we dress, how we look, but. We want to make Jesus known. Indeed, you know what indeed. I mean? So when you come to a Dead Hero Project, you don't leave that mug wondering, do these dudes like Jesus? No, you leave knowing like these dudes love the Lord. Um, I want to highlight one record that I'm really excited about that we did. It's called Rain. And um, we sampled a SWV song, you know, Rain down on me. You know what I mean? So... Sampled that record, D killed it. Man. By the way, we argued. I don't know how oh, long to get that record done. I don't even need to use Marvin Gaye. You just SWV. Yeah, so yeah. we argued for hell to get this record done. We don't want no sample. We need a sample. Really. But the record turned out dope, man. It's one of them records that I think people are really going to love. Just highlighting the Lord's love and um, how real that is to us. You know what I mean? And reminding others of that love as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, we are also a writing team, so, you know, uh, writing hooks for others. So if you're looking for that sound, if any artist out there is like, man, we got D, he'll come through, lace you with the records, D on the track, the hit man, we'll come lace you with a dope hook. Nice hook. So not only are we a, a entity, entity within ourselves, but we're also wanting to serve others at that capacity as well, yeah, man. Yeah. So. That's actually how we started. So yeah. we started as a writing group first, writing on my album. And then Thiz, I'm, I was recording at Thiz Studio. And Thiz like, oh, hey, how about y'all write us a hook? <laughs> and then Jason came back. He was like, oh, yeah, let's write some more. Yeah. Yeah. So it just, so, it just progressively. Yeah. yeah, so it just bubbled in. You know what I mean? So we like, man, let's, let's, we want to do this thing together as a crew, mm -hmm. as a group. But also, we like we want to lend those services to others as well. So yeah. you'll probably, you know, as, as we're dropping music, um, you know, uh, hopefully others will be like, man, how can we connect to that? D, you will fly, you can fly in, sit in the studio with us, or we can do it from wherever you are. You know what I mean? D, D lace a record, boom, we record the hook, and we work out something. You know what I mean? Yeah. To get that to that person. So yeah. good stuff. So what is the story behind what? Um, whoa. So, I mean, just naturally, so all of us as artists, like, with our gift, we love the Lord, and we love to just highlight Him and, and, and everything that we do, man. So, that right there was just an opportunity to be us, edgy, you know, a little, little greedy or whatever, but at the same time, just, like, give reverence to the Lord. Like, yo, I got somebody that you need to know. We ain't trying to keep them on the low. Yo, I'm that much just naturally. What we do, we gonna praise and we gonna lift them up, man. So I mean, that's what we about, man. Just. And then the response, the response as well. Like you see that all through the scriptures. Like when people see the glory of the Lord, it's like, whoa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what we give. Like we gonna make 
Make known the name of Jesus, lift him high, and the response should be people should be blown away. Hey, my God. So. Also, be on the lookout for the Dead Heroes merch. We all are rocking oh, yeah, some Dead baby. Heroes merch, yeah. you know what I'm saying? See the DH in the skull, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we, we be on the lookout, man. We got, a, we got a lot of other things coming, merch, hats, all of that kind of stuff. So, you a hero, man.